he would have wanted me killing Dark. Because you were always better than me, Laurel. That is what I love most about you. You okay? No. <sighs> See you, John. Them leaving has to be a blow. <sighs> and they're leaving because of their own personal darkness. I just can't help but think that maybe they were infected by mine. Maybe. Like you said, maybe you can't become a hero without succumbing to the darkness even a little bit. But you were able to defeat Dark by giving the city its hope back. You're saying it's not black and white? I'm saying that there is a man who killed Dark in cold blood. And that same man stood on top of a car and gave the city its hope back. But your feeling isn't darkness, it's a schism. You're at war with two sides of yourself. Hello. Mr. Queen, this is Thomas Kemp. I chair the city council. Yes, of course, councilman. What can I help you with? That impromptu speech you gave during the city's latest crisis got a lot of people's attention. And there's something I'd like to talk to you about. It's only an interim appointment. A proper election will be held in August. But given that you got 48% of the vote before as a write-in candidate, well, I think that's just a formality. I appreciate the optimism. Are you sure about this? You look, well, conflicted. Well, someone very close to me recently told me that I am. But I'm ready for this. Good. Shall we? your left hand on the Bible, raise your right hand, and recite the oath. I, Oliver Queen, do solemnly swear to support the charter and laws of Star City, and to faithfully and impartially perform and discharge the duties of the office of mayor, according to the law and to the very best of my ability. Congratulations. thought I was leaving too. Not a chance. 